everybody, it's Dr. Robert Piers again. I've already uh, uh, done a, a segments on Alzheimer's disease and ADHD, which I believe are both caused by refined vegetable oil. I now move on to something else, which is extremely common in a family practice. I'm a family practitioner, a general practitioner in Melbourne, Australia. And uh, the, my, so my third subject is anxiety disorder, commonly known as stress. It's got nothing to do with stress. Stress comes and goes, but anxious people are worried all the time, even when there's no stress around them, even on holidays, even on weekends. They're anxious inside, they're stressed inside. How does this happen? Uh, now, I'm very interested in fats and oils, and I, made, I discovered two very important research studies in 1997. They came out in the same year, which gave me a strong clue to what really causes anxiety. And you're going to get a surprise, because it's not what you think. It is something in the diet, it is something nutritional, but it doesn't directly cause anxiety. It works through the mother's diet. What came out was a study from Australia, from a very good dietitian on gestational diabetic pregnancies, showing that what made all the difference to get pregnancy diabetes was a fatty diet in the mother, saturated fat, very carefully measured. There was no question it was a major risk factor and probably the direct cause. We've actually known that a fatty diet causes ordinary type 2 diabetes in non-pregnant individuals since 1936. Nobody bothers to read it. It's in the medical library. The next study that came out, which I was able to link the first one with, uh, was from Chicago. It was a study by paediatricians there on long-term follow-up, three years, five years, seven years, of children who were born to, to mothers who were d diabetic during their pregnancy. So we've got the link with fatty diet creating a diabetic pregnancy, and here we see what comes out of these pregnancies. These children at the age of seven were notably introverted and maybe depressed and sometimes plump and overweight. What does introverted mean? Introverted means shy. Introverted means anxious. And so I, I'm a doctor. I make diagnoses. These children almost certainly had anxiety disorder at the age of seven. And so I was able to work out the mechanism that a fatty diet creates faulty cell membranes which are low in essential fatty acids or polyunsaturated oils. These faulty cell membranes, when you eat buttercream cheese and chocolate, cause insulin resistance, which accounts for the diabetes in the pregnancy, and a lot of oxidation in all tissues, and inflammation as well. And in the placenta, this will let a, a hormone in the mother's blood cross the placenta. It's called cortisol. It's a stress hormone. The calm mother has it too. She doesn't have to be anxious herself. And this cortisol will reach the fetal brain when it's not meant to, and it will program permanent fear and anxiety in this fetal brain. That child will be born anxious, they'll be scared, they will cling to their mother's leg, they'll be scared of strangers, they'll have separation anxiety, they'll be very reluctant to go to school, and they might go, if they do go to school, they'll go up the back of the classroom and sit there and cry, and they want to go home. After about a month, they get used to it. But they're never really good. And uh, this anxious child, when they reach about 14 or 15, and they start eating Mars bars and chocolates and cheese and so forth and a more fatty diet, they're going to get depressed. You'll see the girls. They get depressed and weepy. So anxious people get depressed when they eat a fatty diet. So what do we do about this anxiety? It affects about one in four people in, in the fat-eating countries and maybe one in three in New Zealand and England and America. It could be very high in some poorer suburbs where the women eat very poor fatty diets, a lot of butter and chocolate and uh, cheese, uh, usually dairy and cakes and pastries in pregnancies, extremely common. One in five Canadian pregnancies appear to be high fat because they've got diabetes in a pregnancy or pre-diabetes, about 20%. Probably worse in America where the dietary habits are worse. So we've got a lot of anxious people born in this country. It's been happening for many, many years in all the fat-eating countries extending around the world out of Saudi Arabia, South Africa, with all the westernised fatty diets. So we've got an issue here. So this may explain both anxiety and unipolar depression, the depression that, that anxious people get when they eat fatty food themselves, just like mother is teaching them to eat when they grow up. So what can we do about it? Well, there's a new treatment for anxiety disorder. It was pioneered in Israel in 1996 or so, and it's called inositol. It's a seed sugar. It can be extracted out of rice bran. It's found in grains and legumes and nuts, uh, oats and seeds, and in citrus fruits, and in rock melon or cantaloupe. And this inositol sugar was used in Israel with very good results in panic attack, and depression, 
and obsessive compulsive disorder and eating disorders. And I heard about this and 10 years ago started to use it in anxious patients without depression, without panic attacks, just worriers who were shy when they were young and spent the whole life worrying about small things. These are very, very common to see in general practice. And so I have used the inositol about five grams a day in many, many hundreds, in fact, well over 2,000 patients in the last 10 years. And the results I see are quite spectacular and quite unexpected. Within three or four days of starting the powder, the anxious person reports they don't want the chocolate anymore and they, has, they are only half smoke the cigarette. It, it kills the cravings quickly and they can lose weight quite easily. And also on the third or fourth day, they have the most unusual energy that they've not known before in their life. They can race up the stairs, they can walk faster than ever before. It's very pleasing. After about a week, they're very calm, clear in the head with no brain fog when they wake up they say their brain fog's gone and they concentrate very very well as the weeks roll by they find fat melting away from their stomach and their muscles seem to be enlarging and they feel quite strong and extremely healthy uh, women especially notice that their hair and nails grow faster when they're fully grown they're shiny and stronger than before the hairdresser compliments them and says what have you been doing and uh, quite often in both sexes libidos improve they were previously quite stressed and now reproductive function and libido are better I've heard that many, many times. And finally, they've got very good immune systems, where previously they used to get a lot of coughs and colds, now they're virtually immune. We know that stress impairs your resistance to, to infections. So these are the results with inositol, which if you can't get the powder, you can have lots of orange juice, that's quite rich in it. You can have cantaloupe, that's rock melon. You can have oats and seeds and grains, porridge, muesli, butter beans, chickpeas, lentils, nuts. You can find it in your foods. You can get maybe half what you need there, maybe two grams a day if you have plenty of orange juice. And that's about half what you really need. You may need four or five grams and you really might need the powder. Most anxious people do. But mild anxiety may respond to a high inositol diet with the corn, oats, nuts, beans, rock melon and citrus. But it's got to be eaten every day. You've got to keep this up. You've got to develop the habit of having the porridge or the muesli in the morning or the wheat bix. It must be whole grain cereal uh, because refined, refined grains and steel cut oats may not have the inositol in them. And so we've got a dramatic new treatment for treating for anxiety disorder, and it also happens to treat depression. Uh, uh, antidepressants work by mobilizing your own inositol that you make in your own body and packing it into the brain cell membranes. That's how antidepressants work. They've also got numerous side effects. Don't go near them. Inositol will do a much better job, as they showed in Israel. They'll completely substitute for Prozac and Arapax and Zoloft. These are useless brain drugs, which frequently don't work because the patients continue to eat and crave a fatty diet, which goes on inflaming their brain and stops the drugs working, whereas my approach will stop you wanting the chocolate. It's far superior. So we have a dramatic new treatment here for both anxiety and unipolar depression, which doubles as a superb diabetes treatment because inositol stimulates the action of insulin. It's been known for many, many years. And the final jewel in the crown is, is that the anxious person taking inositol or eating a high inositol diet will get most surprising and unexpected anti-aging effects from the inositol. It's been shown to activate hundreds of anti-aging genes. And this is like caloric restriction, where you eat a third less every day. No one wants to do it. This will do the same thing. The inositol will activate those genes. It partly accounts for the enhanced energy. Anxious person is tired. And when they are on inositol, they get rid of the anxiety. And so the usual fatigue in their muscles goes. Their endurance is better. And then there's a further improvement. They're telling me it's, it's spectacular. It's remarkable. 25% faster on the treadmill. It's, it's more than I expected. That's probably some of that is due to anti-aging effects because one of the anti-aging genes stimulated by inositol is a master gene for energy production in muscle, heart and brain. You're also smarter. If you have a rat that's on caloric restriction, it's noticed to be smarter as well as it's fast on the treadmill. So I can turn you into a well-fed rat. You don't have to restrict your diet. So that's, that's, that's the story of anxiety as I see it from an point of view of an independent researcher who's interested in dietary fats and oils and very, very lucky as I was to discover the Israeli studies done in 1997 in Beersheba by Professor Joseph Levine who pioneered the use of this remarkable seed sugar for depression and panic attacks but did not extend it, his studies to plain, simple, anxious folks, which has been my interest. And that's the end of my story.